the uh, tenth day of this sixth regular session of, uh, of the 20th Congress will now come to order. May we all uh, rise for a moment of silent prayer. Chief Clerk, roll call. Senator Alec, Senator Aritos, Senator Figueir, Senator Coland, Floor Leader Harper, Senator Conman, Vice Speaker Moses, Senator Ned, Senator Panuelo, Senator Perman, Senator Romulo, Senator Ismail, Senator Wally, Speaker Semina. Yes. Mr. Speaker, eight members are. We present. have quorum to transact business this morning. For for Leader Albert, reading of the journal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and good morning to you and all honorable members, staff, as well as those who are observing our session this morning. Uh, <clears throat> again, I move to dispense with the reading of the journal. It's moved and seconded that we dispense with the reading of the journal this morning. Those in favor say yes. Was no. Motion carried. We now dispense with the reading of uh, our journal. Next item. Item 5, Presidential Communications, none, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Point of privilege, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> State your point, uh, Floor Leader. <coughs> Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. I rise on a point of privilege to ask the indulgence of this Congress to recognize a few of our ranking staff from our executive branch who are observing our session this morning. And may I uh, begin with uh, Secretary Robert, Secretary uh, Kylan, and Chief of Staff uh, Falcom. May we give them a, a round of applause. Yeah, it's good to know that they have no works to do in their offices. Uh, okay. All right, any other point? Uh, let the record reflect that. Uh, Chairman Berman is uh, in chamber right now. Speaker. Yes, uh, Chairman of uh, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In uh, conjunction with the point of privilege raised by my good brother to my right, I wish to continue that, if I may, Mr. Speaker. Proceed. Thank you. I also join the floor leader in welcoming uh, two uh, officials of the national government observing this morning session. May I introduce Mr. Peldesar Petrus from the President's Office and our Budget Officer Patrick McKenzie. Thank you, Chairman uh, Orsimal. Any other point of privilege? If none, let's go down to next item, Chief Bird. Item 6, Mr. Speaker, FSM Supreme Court Communications, we will receipt of number 20-20. Okay, that's our uh, National Day Coordinating Committee. Uh, of course, our uh, attorney to the JN Co. Committee is designated to sit on this, and a letter will be forthcoming on that. Next item. Item 7, Member Communications, none, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 8, Departmental Communications, none. Next item. Item 9, Agency or Governmental Authority Communications. Uh, we have number 20-62. Okay, assign that. Item Third. 10, State Communications, none. Item 11, State Supreme Court Communications, also none. Item 12, Municipal or Town Communications. 
And item 13, foreign government communications, none for those two categories. Okay, thank you, Jeff Perk, our order of today. Item 14, standing committee reports. Uh, standing committee reports, Mr. Speaker, there are none. Next item. Uh, item 15, special committee reports, none. Next item. Item 16, assignment of measures and communications. We have a referral sheet, number 20-102. Okay, Chairman and members, uh, review that for your planning purposes. Next item. Item 17, unfinished business. None, Mrs. Speaker. Okay, next item. Item 18, bill calendar. Mrs. Speaker, the first bill on the bill calendar is CP number 20-282 for second reading. CP number 20-282 is a bill for an act. <coughs> To amend sections 1, 2, 6, 8, and 9 of Public Law Number 20-131 in order to appropriate $1,707,641 of additional funds from the General Fund of the Federal States of Micronesia for the fiscal year ending September 30, 2019 to provide additional funding for the operations of the National Government of the Federal States of Micronesia, various grants, subsidies, and contributions to capital and human resources development, including additional funding for the FSM Trust Fund and for other purposes. Floor Leader Harbor. Thank you again, Speaker. I move for the passage of uh, CP number 20-282 on second and final reading. It's moved and seconded that Congress pass on second and final reading, CP number 20-282. Discussion. Speaker. Discussion. <coughs> yes, uh, Floor Leader Herbert. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, if I may not be out of order, I move to uh, suspend any relevant rules that may impede our action on the bill, and especially the one that prohibits uh, substantive amendment on second reading. Any second? Okay. It's moved and seconded that uh, any and all relevant rules, specifically the rules prohibiting substantive amendments on second and final reading, be suspended. Those in favor say yes. Was no motion carried. The relevant rules are now suspended. Continue. Floor. Speaker, thank you again. Uh, I'd like to offer a written floor amendment on your PF, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I move that this uh, amendment uh, would not be read as it's uh, very lengthy, uh, but I believe uh, the copies and uh, everything is relevant to this amendment are uh, in front of all of us. So I move for the adoption of this amendment. It's moved and seconded that the offer for amendments to CB number 20-282 offered by uh, Floor Leader Harper on uh, IPF uh, be adopted. Uh, discussion? Short recess, Mr. Pugh. Short recess, subject to call of the chair. Congress is back in session. We're still on discussion of the offered floor amendments by uh, uh, Floor Leader Harbour. Any further discussion? If none, if there is no objection, discussion is uh, closed. So let's vote. Those in favor of the adoption of the offered floor amendments to CV number 20-282, say yes. Opposed, nay. Motion carried. We now have CD1. Any further discussion on CD1? Speaker. <clears throat> yes, uh, floor leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Speaker. I offer uh, another amendment on your PF uh, to uh, Bill 282, CD1, and uh, I so move for the adoption of the amendment. It's moved and seconded that Congress adopt the offer for amendments to CB 20-282, which has been written up, and also because of its uh, length, we will dispense with its reading. So the relevant rules are still suspended uh, at this point. Discussion. Any discussion on the uh, offered amendments to CD1? Short recess, subject to call of the chair. 
Congress is back in session. We're still on discussion of the other four amendments to CD1. Any further discussion? If none, there's no objection. Discussion is closed, so let's vote. Those in favor of the other amendments to uh, CB20-282 CD1 say yes. Opposed, nay. Motion carried. The uh, offered for amendments to CD1 are adopted. I just want to note that for that uh, first item, QMIF, that means the Micronesian Islands Forum. So it should be spelled out, written out. Okay. Next, I mean discussion on CD1, CD2. Are there any discussion on CD2? I yield to Chairman Romulo. CD2, no. no. The bill. We're now on CD2 of the bill. Discussions. Discussions. Are you talking Short about... Short subject to call up the chair. Okay. Congress is back in session, so let's uh, continue our discussion of uh, CD1 or CD2, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Chairman Romolo, you have an amendment? Uh, thank you, uh, Speaker. Yes, I uh, have a floor amendment that has been distributed and uh, moved for adoption. It's moved and seconded that the offered uh, floor amendments to CP number 20-282 CD2 by Chairman Romolo be adopted. And uh, the relevant rules are still suspended at this point. Uh, Chief Clerk, read it into the record. It's a short one. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, we have a floor amendment to CP number 20-282, CD2, offered by Senator Robson U. Romulo. Item one of this amendment on page 14, following line seven, insert the following. Subitem lowercase h, ship crews, current and prior years overtime obligations, 50,000. Item two, page 14, following line 18. <coughs> Insert the following. Subitem lowercase m, immigration and labor, current and prior years overtime obligations, 10,000. Okay, there you have it. Any discussion? Speaker. <clears throat> yes, uh, Florida Harbor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just want to say that I do support the intent and purpose of the two amendments, but I just want to ask uh, as to how they come up with uh, two figures, 50 for TCNI and 10 for immigration. Are these figures given by those two places or? Okay, uh, Chairman Romolo, and enlighten our floor leader. Yes, thank you, uh, Speaker, and uh, thank you, Floor, for the uh, the concern and question. Yes, indeed, we have uh, called the DCNI and uh, Justice to come and uh, uh, give us a, a figure or numbers that we can work with, and these are not exactly the amount needed, but we round it to, with, uh, to come up with this even number. Like the uh, immigration, they would, every, they pay, their overtime pays on the collection that, from fenders. So they, for the, the whole, uh, the, including all the states, every pay period they would pay up about seven, seven to eight thousand for overtime. So we, give them round up to 10,000 for the same as the uh, DCNI crew. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Speaker. Pro leader. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, German. Thank, you, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I'm uh, very, uh, it's very uh, fortunate. And I note that the uh, supervisors of the the um, affected uh, offices are in the gallery. 
Um, to further supplement what the chairman, good chairman, was explaining, uh, for the immigration and uh, labor, as the as he correctly pointed out, the amount given to to the committee is for uh, seven uh, thousand, but they've already gotten pay for pay period one without their overtime because they have not the vendors have not all paid in what they are supposed to pay for our uh, uh, officers' overtime. With regard to uh, the crew on both vessels, uh, micro uh, navigators, navigator, and the forger, uh, most of the money owed is for FY 2018. And I think this 50,000 is not even enough to cover, but uh, when we were uh, uh, talking about the supplemental to increase and insert these two items, we were advised by uh, our legal staff that the amount available, uh, if we put in more than this, would be would put us in red. So that is the handicap that we face, and therefore a lower amount was put in for the crew on both vessels, uh, navigator and uh, uh, voyagers. Thank you. <coughs> okay, thank you, uh, Chairman Rosenwald. Any further discussion on the offered uh, floor amendments to C CT2? Questions being called for, if there's no objection, discussion is closed. So let's vote on adoption. Those in favor of the adoption of the offered floor amendments to CP number 20-282CD2, say yes. Opposed nay. Motion carried. The offered uh, for amendments to CD2 are adopted. We now have CD3. Any further discussion? Short of the subject to call of the chair. Congress is back in session. We're still on discussion of CP20-282. CD3. Any uh, further discussion? Chairman uh, Romano. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Again, good morning to everybody. I also have a, a floor amendment to the state uh, bill and wish to offer, and because of its lengthy, I ask that we, we suspend the, the reading of the amendment and shall move. It's moved and seconded that the offered uh, floor amendments to CB20-282 by Chairman Romulo, or CD3, offered by Chairman Romulo, be adopted uh, because of its length. We will dispense with its reading and let the record reflect uh, reflects that we uh, the relevant rules are still suspended at this point. So discussion. Explain your amendment. Explain your amendment. What is it about? Uh, the, uh, yes, uh, good, thank you, Speaker. The amendment is basically changing the allotty on uh, one item. And uh, the reason for the change of allotty is to expedite the, the processing of the payment for the service that uh, has been provided. Uh, with the fend by the fender. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chairman Romero. Any further discussion on the offered amendment? If none, there's no objection. Discussion is closed. So let's vote. Those in favor of the adoption of the offered for amendments to CB number 20-282-CD3, say yes. Was nay. Motion carried. The offered Amendments to CD3 are adopted. We now have CD4. Any further discussion on CD4? CP20-282 CD4. If none, if there is no objection, discussion, debate is closed on 20-282 CD4. So let's vote by roll call of delegations. German Romulo will cast a vote for Truk, and German Perman will cast a vote for 
Bonby. Chief Clerk. State of Chuk, Chairman Romulo. Yes. State of Pompey, Chairman Furman. Hey, man. State of Kushai, Chairman Wally. Yes. State of Yap, Chairman Orsma. Yes. Mr. Speaker, all the four states voted in affirmative. For that reason, CB number 20-282, CD4, has passed Congress on second and final reading. Next bill. Mr. Speaker, we have CB number 20-283 for second reading. CB number 20-283. <coughs> it's a bill for an act to further amend public law number 19-121 as amended by public laws numbers 19-130, 19-142, 19 19-145, 19-158, 20-09, 20-22, 20-51, 20-59, 20-70, <coughs> and 20-123 by amending section four thereof to change the use of funds previously appropriated therein for the purpose of funding public projects and social programs for the people of the state of Pompeii and for other purposes. Okay, floor leader Harper. Move for adoption of the said bill on second and final reading. <coughs> it's moved and seconded that Congress pass on second and final reading, CP number 20-283. Discussion. Any discussion? Chairman Nett. Thank you, Speaker. I have a Small but lengthy amendment, I so move for its adoption. It's moved and seconded that the offer for amendment to CB 20-283 offered by uh, Senator Ned be adopted uh, because of its length. We will dispense with its reading and let the record reflect that the relevant rules are still suspended at this point. Okay, discussion on the offered amendments. Any discussion? There is no discussion. Debate is closed, so let's vote. Those in favor of the adoption of the offer for amendments to CB 20-283 say yes. Yes. Opposed nay. Motion carried. The offer for amendments to 20-283 are adopted. We now have CT1. Any further discussion on 20-283 CD1? If none, if there is no objection, discussion is closed. So let's vote by roll call of delegations. Clerk. State of Chuk, Chairman Romulo. Yes. State of Pompeii, Chairman Perman. State of Kushai, Chairman Wally. Yes. State of Yap, Chairman Ursmal. Mr. Speaker, we have four states, four to four. CB number 20-283, CD1 has passed Congress on second and final reading. Next bill. There are none, Mr. Speaker. Point of privilege, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Floor Leader Harper, state your point. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I again rise on a point of privilege to introduce a beloved constituent of mine, uh, who's, if I'm not mistaken, also uh, the director of the JCPR, uh, or whatever title he has with the JCPR. Uh, Abel, Abel, JCRB. Oh, J, JCRB, JCRP. Uh, let's give him a round of applause. <clears throat> well, he should pick the wrong time to come here. We are already way past the deferring of his bill. Okay, uh, any other point of privilege before we continue on? Short recess. Short recess, subject to call of the chair. Congress is back in uh, session. Uh, any further appeal? Chief Clerk. There are none, Mr. Speaker. Okay, next item. Item 19, resolution calendar. None, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 20, miscellaneous, I mean, introduction of bills and resolutions. If you have any measure to introduce, pass them on to Chief Kirk. 
Next item. Item 21, miscellaneous, com miscellaneous communications. There are none, Mr. Speaker. Okay, item 22, miscellaneous business. Do we have any miscellaneous business? Mr. Speaker. Chairman Ramal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wish to point out and I hope the webmaster of our website or the PIO could make a correction on the members of the 20th Congress that it's not Robson, it's Robson. Thank you. Okay, take note, uh, PIO and webmaster, uh, stop misspelling uh, German Ramalo's name. Okay. To the that corrections uh, the immediately. <laughs> okay, any other miscellaneous business? Okay, if none, announcement, Chairman Wallet. Thank you, Speaker, no announcement. Okay, acting Chairman Ned. Chairman Berman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, uh, from your committee of HSA, just want to announce that there are exercise equipment at the causeway, so please go out there and take care of your health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Chairman Perman, for that announcement. That's uh, okay. Uh, it's uh, fitting. It comes from the HSA chairman. Okay, uh, Chairman uh, Romulo. Vice Chairman Coleman. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. No announcement. Okay, Chairman Orsimo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Your uh, Committee on Education is on vacation. No announcement. Okay, I thought you were really rolling up your sleeves. You want to go to work. Okay, uh, Vice Speaker Moses, you have any announcement? Okay. Now, short reasons, subject to call after chair. Congress is back in session. Uh, Floor leader, any announcement? Then your motion. No announcement, Speaker, and I move that we uh, adjourn for the day and come back uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. It's moved and seconded that we adjourn for the day and come back tomorrow morning at 10 in the, uh, 10 o'clock. Those in favor of that motion say yes. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Congress now stands adjourned until tomorrow at 10 in the morning.